Hey everybody, welcome to Cake Tastic Cakes. It's Jen. I'm going to show you today how to make Pinkie Pie from My Little Pony. And if you find this helpful, please like and subscribe. And here we go. All right, you're going to start with your light pink. For her body, I just made a pear and stuck a lollipop stick through it and put it to the side. This is going to be her back leg. We're going to make two of the same, so pay attention to this one. Uh, they are going to be kind of flared, so it's wider at the hoof end than at the other end. And since it's her back leg, I want it bent in the middle, kind of like her knee. You can kind of see the shape there. And then I'm taking my knife and cutting it off at an angle on the thinner end. That'll go up against her body, and it won't stick out real far. But you can see the nice curve I got there. See it right there, demonstrating. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> it seemed good at the time. So, uh, yeah. So you're going to have the one end nice flared. Make sure the hoof is still nice and round and flat at the end. Stick it against the body and there you go. Same thing with the other one. You're gonna have it flared at the end, cut it at the angle, bend it, stick it into place. That's just gonna go right onto the body. All right, this is gonna be the front leg. The front legs are basically the same idea without any bending. You're gonna have it cut at an angle on the front or at the skinnier end, flare it at the bottom, nice and straight and flat. But when you put it against the body, have the hoof in the front, but you can see in the corner there, the shoulder, the top part of the leg goes up and around to the shoulder. It doesn't go straight up the front of the body. A little bit of water, and then press it up into the side in place, and there you go. You can see the feet come into the front, but the shoulders go up and out to the sides. All right, we're going to make the head now. I have this going kind of fast because I just wanted to show you all the motion that was there without trying to cut it. You start with a ball, make sure you put it up against the body, it's a good size. Press down in the middle, and you're gonna separate out the head from the snout. And the My Little Pony snouts, muzzles, whatever you wanna call them, are pretty small, and they're kinda of like a duck beak. They're very flat on the top and go straight into the face, but underneath it slopes down into their chin. Um, you can kind of see it right there. Right now, I'm using my ball tool to create two hollows for the eyes. The eyes are very large, very up and down, kind of ovally. Um, they are a little flatter on the bottom, so I'll add that detail later, but they are more to the sides. They're not very centered. I'm using my little <coughs> pokey tool to make it flatter at the bottom. I use the pokey tool also to add two little nostrils, and as you can see, I use a circle cutter to just make a smile in there. To fill in the eyes, you add some white. Make sure they don't stick out too far. You don't want big bulgy eyes. You want nice flat eyes, but they are large. And Pinkie Pie has the same kind of a sky blue or light blue colored iris that we used for Rarity. So we're gonna use some of that same color again. And the, the um, irises are very big. They come up probably, like you can see here, over halfway through the, through the white part of the eye. And the black of the pupil is also very large, so make sure you fill it in pretty good. I'm adding her mane now. It's just hot pink, and I rolled out big, long, cold, long strips that are tapered at one end, and then just curled them up and twisted them up and then stuck them in place. Her hair is very curly, so that's what I'm doing there. I'm just sticking it in. And you can see there's like a seam um, on the side of her head when I turn it. You can see it right there a little bit. You can see just because her head was very flat, so I added some at more pink on the side or onto the back to round off her head. It's not a big deal if you have to do this kind of thing. You're just going to cover it up with a curl, just like I did right there. Um, she's pretty forgiving. Her mane is, is very curly and kind of all over the place, so it's nice and easy. Before you get too far with it, we're going to add the ears. Her ears, as you can see, is kind of a teardrop that I'm just pressing down the center in. And I'm going to cut it at an angle. Her ears are pretty big, and they sit on the side and above her eye on her head. So like you saw right there, I had to take off a piece of hair. I'll add it back afterwards, but get her ears in place before you get too far with the mane. And then you can start sticking the hair curls and loops and everything all around it. And it actually looks pretty cute, I gotta say. Once you start adding all the hair around the ears, they're just very, very fun and wavy and cute. All right, so you can see the back there, especially that I showed you, the two pieces of the head coming together. And I added another curl on the other side. See right there, covers up that seam, so it's no problem. You can always hide mistakes like that or little details that you're having a hard time with, with an accent. Put a flower on her if you have to, if it's a different pony, whatever. You know, there's always ways to hide it. This is going to be her tail. I started with one big thick chunk that I curled up 
added a couple smaller chunks. You can see I filled in her head. It was just more curls, more curls, more curls. And the tail, I just wrapped a couple smaller pieces around that main big one, pressed it against her rump and wrapped it around her leg. Because I had to mail her, I needed the tail to be against her body. If it's for yourselves, you can have the tail sitting however you like so you have more freedom. I'm adding a couple of highlights to her eyes because this is Pinkie Pie and she's always very happy and very excited. And I'm gonna add two highlights, a big one on the outsides as you can see and a smaller one on the inside. So when she's all put together, it's really gonna look very cute. She's gonna look very excited and happy. That is actually a little tiny piece of pink that I'm rolling out with my pokey tool there. I'm going to give her eyelids on the bottom of her eye to make it seem like she's super happy and her cheeks are pressing up to make her eyes a little, I guess, squinted is the word, but you know what I mean. She's super duper happy. So happy, it's busting over into her eyes. You can already see there without adding too much to it that it's starting to get that nice look that she's very, very happy, very sweet. And use your pokey tool, just poke those pieces into place, tuck them into the corners of the eyes and everything so they don't look weird anymore. I am adding the upper eye lashes. Her eyes are wide open on the top, so there's no eyelid on the top. Just highlight it with that arc of black that you can see I'm using there and curl out the edge. The one side on the left, I did have it long enough that I could curl it out. The right side, she's gonna need a little falsy. So I added just an extra tip to it and bent it up. And there you go. And I took a piece of gum paste, I rolled it thin on each end to make it, and then bent it in half to make a V to add two more eyelashes because she has three blinky eyelashes coming out on either side on the top and bottom. All right, these are her little beauty spots or cutie spots, whatever they're called. Uh, she has balloons. I'm just showing you how I did them. It's literally a yellow circle or blue and press it down and then using the pokey tool, just kind of pinch in at the sides, just poke it in on one side, poke it in at the other. You kind of got that light bulb or balloon shape. All right, and the bottom eyelashes you see there, I just drew them on. <laughs> I used a black edible food coloring marker. So yeah, there she goes. There she's easy and she comes out super cute. Check out my other videos. If you make this, let me see it. I'd love to and thank you very much. Bye.